Ladies and gentlemen, Science Strafe back with some more DayZ, and today I'm actually flying solo as Elbrook appears to be MIA. However, I decided to load up the island of Utes because I had never done so, and well, why not, right? Because it's a small map, one of the original Arma maps, and mostly for training and smaller operations, so I figure it's at least worth one video getting stuck on the fence there. But uh, I did spawn with this super large backpack, knife, matches, compass map, a couple bandages. Get an overview of the map there so you can see how small it is if you haven't played this before, but most likely you already have. And somebody's already marked it with YOLO. Don't worry, it wasn't me. I'm not that much of a douche. Anyway, um, this is the first complex I've approached. And there's a couple of tents here, but you actually did start with a tent. So I would assume that everybody dropped their tents because not many people want to use them and they take up inventory. So I'm going to check this little barracks first. And there's nothing in here. I don't know if there's going to be anything in... Nope. And... Mm, nope. Alright. So, how about in here? Yep. Okay. So, we've got some stuff. Will this door close? Here. Alright. Give me some privacy. That buys you a few milliseconds, perhaps. What do we got? Road flares, which nobody ever wants anymore. Makarov mag. I don't even care because the Makarov is so horrible. It's almost like I'd rather just run away. <laughs> Glock 17 mag. I don't know. It depends if we find any of this stuff, maybe. I think that. I think it's just as bad. I mean, 9mm in this game is terrible. Um, grab another bandage. I wish there was an auto sort. In the inventory feature. I don't know. I wish there was a lot of things with this game. Haven't really heard too much about uh, Daisy standalone. You know, the last thing we saw was some screenshots of the newer interiors, but of course it's using a version of the Take On Helicopters game engine, so it's going to look similar. That was Thunder. So, you know, nothing special, which is really disappointing. I really wish they would have used the decided to use the arma 3 engine and just taking their time you know get that out and then develop for that because that that's going to be the engine that fixes most of the issues that arma has problems with in terms of physics and animations and things like that and i don't know if the you know the take on helicopters engine which is basically a uh, an upgraded version of this engine is going to is going to you know solve any problems are we going to get this Daisy standalone and is it going to be just as glitchy? Is it going to have the same crappy animations? Is it, you know, I don't know. I really don't know. I hope that it is not going to be a problem, you know, but we'll see. Because, you know, that's one that's going to be like, all right, we're actually charging you money for this. Why can't open door? Are you serious? Closed door. Open door. All right. Jeez. What's up, zombie? Peace out, zombie. Or infected guy, whatever you want to be today. I'm going to head for... Uh, why did I slow down? All right. I'm going to head for <laughs> these structures, I suppose. In this direction, or wait, where's the airfield on this one? Um, ooh, a vehicle. I know from previous experience that uh, most of the vehicles in this uh, island are glitchy, and or I gotta get rid of this tool first. You are an annoyance. Let it be known. You are just an annoyance. I am not afraid of you. You are here to annoy me. Uh, a lot of the cars don't work. They're either broken or they don't have fuel. And I'm going to try once again. I know that really wasn't enough to lose him, but I just wanted to grab some space. And, all right, I can't. There's no dialogue there. And, as per usual, the first hit is 
always going to make you bleed. It's like the first or second hit. I don't know why that does that. <sighs> I wonder if you can do the, the hide by the tree glitch with this tree. Yeah, it works every time. I don't know. That's just stupid, too, that you can even do this. But considering that you are glitchy, annoying zombies, I'm going to do whatever I can to prevent you from killing me. All right, there we go. Bye. All right. But, oh, you know, those aren't priorities. Those aren't things that should be fixed immediately. I mean... <laughs> but beyond that, this video uh, also serves another purpose. I wanted to discuss um, the status of this mod on my channel. As most of you know, I probably complain a lot when I play this game. I rant mostly, and I don't have a lot of good things to say about it. It's because... There's not much here. It's a very incomplete alpha mod that just needs so much work. And let's face it, mostly, mostly they've abandoned it in favor of creating a standalone product. So, you know, with that said, I think that I've experienced as much as I possibly can within the uh, Daisy Arma 2 mod. And I just don't feel like there is a whole lot of content here anymore. And even with Elbrook on board, there's only so much we can talk about. There's almost, you know, there's only so much we can just really do. I mean, how many times can you explore these these maps? How many things can you do? Running around for hours, killing glitchy zombies, avoiding douchebag player killers. It just gets old. I mean, picking up the same boring loot over and over again, no objectives. There's just nothing to do and experience anymore. And the only thing that keeps this entertaining for you guys is either my or Elbrook's commentary or our interaction and uh, zany adventures. That's why it's entertaining. But, you know, I can't lie. I'm not finding it fun anymore. It's just... A boring mod it's just it's just not there there's a great idea at its core but it's not fully fleshed out it's just not implemented well and and on top of that I'm having to deal with the glitchy Arma 2 engine which has problems without it being you know without there being a mod within it you know and and that's why I'm hoping that Arma 3 resolves a lot of those things, because I'd much rather play Arma as Arma once, you know, it's good to go. The only reason I don't is mostly because I can't seem to find a server that is running a, a game mode that I would find interesting. So that's, that's typically why there isn't any normal Arma 2 content. And I'm hoping that Arma 3 will resolve that and perhaps, you know, bring in a good community. Hoping for that. Don't know if that's going to happen. Daisy may have hurt that. I'm not sure. We'll find out. I know there's a few buildings that I've missed, but I really don't care. I'm going to actually just try to get to the airfield and bypass some of these spaztastic zombies. Anyways, I kind of went off into a different direction with that subject. But, you know, there's just, there's just not a lot here, guys. And I'm not the kind of person that plays a game for views or subscriptions or money. I play games, I add games to my channel, I do let's plays, I do, I don't really do reviews, but I do first impressions for things that I actually think I'll enjoy, or that perhaps deserves some attention. Is there anything in here that I need to fight over? Yes, this weapon. So, and I already take a hit, come on, screw you. And next... Maybe it's better fighting in third person. I don't know. All right, so they're dead. Anybody else? All right. Well, I want to take it, but I don't want to drop the axe. So, add tool belt. So, I mean, what it comes down to is... I don't think that it's a good idea to, co to continue making videos for a game that I'm not necessarily enjoying. Um... 
you know, an example would be once in a while I get approached by developers. And, and sometimes they say, hey, do you want to take a look at our game? We like your channel. We like the videos that you've been putting out. And that's a way for them to get promotion. You know, you guys, the viewers, you check out the game and I do a first impressions of it. And maybe I end up liking it and continue to play it. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes I there's a good first impression, but then the game flops somewhere else down the line and I decide to not continue it. And, you know, uh, that's what happens. I'm sure I've sold a fair amount of uh, <laughs> titles while I've had the channel up. I'm sure I've sold a fair amount of Arma 2 because of my first impressions for uh, DayZ. And, you know, I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. You know, helping to sell a, a game for a mod that really isn't all that related. I don't know, but there's a down chopper. Um... Again, I just I just really have to go with my gut on this and, and perhaps uh, wait until Daisy Standalone comes out and then get back into it. And this is not saying, oh, you know, I'm going to stop 100% making any videos for this. That's not the thing. It's just that instead of every week, maybe it's every other week or maybe, you know, may, I don't know, maybe a month goes by and there's no video. And then... The next month I decide, it's just whenever I feel like it, you know? So I don't really want to say there's going to be a set schedule anymore for this game or mod. Because it's just, it's just, it's just, I'd be lying if I if I said I wanted to keep playing this. And, and it's more fun with Elbrook, yes, and bringing him on board helped out a lot. But even he and I have discussed the fact that there's just nothing to do. And, and after that point, it's like, well... You guys want to see another episode of two dudes just running around? I mean, sure, you explore a new map once in a while. You get on the Namalsk, it's new, it's different. Oh, okay, and then, but that's like a couple episodes. After you've, you know, explored everything, there's just nothing. It's just, it gets boring. And, and I have a really high standard for the content that I try to deliver and I, I don't think that I'm doing the channel justice by continuing to make videos for uh, an incomplete mod, buggy mod that just doesn't have anything else to offer. Uh, when I discovered this mod back in April and did the first impressions, back then there was another gentleman also making videos around the same time that I started. It was between me and him and his name was uh, C.H. Kilroy, a good guy. Um, spoke to him a little bit and this was a long time ago mind you he stopped making daisy videos and and i said so you know what happened with that you you got tired of it or what would happen he said he felt that he had experienced all that there was within the mod and he was just done with it and i have to agree with him except i've taken it a bit further by exploring these other maps bringing elbrook on board and just trying to make it entertaining. But I think, you know, he was on the money with that statement. He's experienced all that he could, and he's done. It got to the point, he stopped when it became all about player killing. I continued, and it's just been, in some cases, very frustrating. I've still had fun with it. Obviously, I wouldn't do it if there wasn't some level of fun. Um, Again, I do enjoy playing cooperatively with people uh, you know, in, in Elbrook and whatnot. But even today, I said, man, what am I going to do today? What am I going to talk about? You know, when, when Elbrook's not here, I'm just going to have to think of something. And, and before, my first videos used to be all about, uh, you know, philosophical questions and debate and things like that. You know, what would a real human do in this situation? And I've just run out of things to talk about. I, you know, I, I there isn't that much left. And... You can only watch somebody run around the woods for so long, even as a viewer. And uh, I think that instead of, you know, spending time trying to make, you know, videos for this, maybe I could be playing something else or Elbrook and I could be doing something else cooperatively in another game. I mean, you have to realize the amount of time it takes to put out a video. Elbrook and I have to get into a game. We have to find each other on a server, which can take over an hour because trying to spawn near each other, kill ourselves to respawn, to get close to each other, and then move out. On top of that, uh, then we have to film the episode. 
if there's no glitches or technical errors or whatever, then that's like another hour-ish, whatever, or 40 minutes to an hour. Top of that, then I have to render it. I have to render the video, that's maybe an hour and a half or more, depending on how long the video is. And let's see if we can escape this guy. I kind of want to get to that hangar first. There's a couple of vehicles around here I'll check out too. So, you can see why it takes so long to want to do this, and, and sometimes it's just really frustrating. And... You know, for a guy like Elbrook who has a normal job, who has to, who has the weekends off, it's, it's, it. Even though we have fun doing this, it takes up a lot of his free time, and I feel bad about it sometimes. So it's like, it'd be, it'd be much more fun to get in a game that actually has a friends list where it's like, all right, let's play. You know, like we could perhaps be playing Medal of Honor or something online, which we haven't done, which we should be doing. But uh, <laughs> I guess I don't know why we just haven't gotten to it. I think he's busy with a lot of other games and things like that too. But, uh, you know, it's just stuff like that. So, the amount of time it takes to put out a video. Like, what, you know, if, if DayZ Standalone came out with a proper working friends list, an easy way to connect with a group. Uh, well, you know what? Let me back off and take this guy down because I think I'm going to switch weapons. Although, this thing is pretty beefy, so. Crap. It's really loud, too. I do have a lot of ammo, though, so I'm just going to drop a lot of these fools, I think. And then maybe grab that AK. I don't know. It doesn't have as much ammo. No, you're supposed to slow down. They're not slowing down, and they're inside. I think they slowed down the rate of fire for this thing. Might just have to bail. Why are they not slowing down inside the building? Trying to reload, not really happening. Oh, I like how they slow down outside. Completely backwards game today, guys. I don't know what's going on. Jeez. That was a bag of silly. Anyway, now we've taken out some of those guys. Let's... Let me finish this guy off as well. Okay, apparently I'm hitting the cement in front of me. God, this gun is way too loud, I guess. And one more shot. Oh, man. Why won't, why are they going fast inside the hangar? I don't get it. Alright, I'm going to have to um, try to get rid of these fools. Go! Go! Run! Okay. Bail out. Bail out! I figured I'd just waste some of that ammo take them with me. Why not? I don't do much shooting in this game anyway. Anyway, I've mostly forgotten what I was saying uh, due to that interruption, but um, again, I want to provide quality entertainment. And I just don't think I can do it with this at this point in time. So, again, not to say that I won't, but I think it'll just be whenever I feel in the mood or perhaps when it feels like it might be a, a more refreshing experience. And that way, Elbrook and I can perhaps deliver something else over the weekends that might be more entertaining, like maybe Medal of Honor or some other game that just has a good co-op mechanic. Uh, maybe I could do some more gameplay with, you know, Rurikon, which I haven't done in a long time, and perhaps many of you aren't familiar with him. But uh, he's been a longtime friend of mine uh, online, and we've uh, gone through a lot in terms of uh, creating video content uh, for other networks and things like that, and... He's good people, and there are a few games that we have in common. There just hasn't been a lot. We were talking about doing some uh, chivalry together, even though I think he's worse at that game than I am, but uh, it might be fun. So, you know, there is that and perhaps some other titles, maybe MMOs or something like that. But, um, you know, yeah, I mean, so 
I know there are a lot of you that are here mostly for this game and you guys have been great and you always demand this you're like oh more make it longer an hour it's just but it's like guys it's so hard to do that and it's just not that fun uh, and and I really want to play it only if it's fun because again I'm not a bandwagoner you know I am partially responsible for uh, creating the hype and discovering this mod and I'm glad that I could have uh, that I'm glad that I could help out as much as possible and I definitely wish Rocket Hall the best because he is a good guy him and his team at Bohemia so you know uh, I can't wait to look at standalone and I hope that I can get some sort of early access to it and maybe deliver first impressions for that and help that grow as well I really want to help them out as much as possible and they are always welcome on my channel you know because they're good people so there is that but uh, you know, in the meantime, I'm going to, you know, gauge your comments and suggestions and see what you think about this. Uh, is that going to cause you to unsub? Is that a problem? Are you here for... I know a lot of you have said, look, dude, I don't even care about this game anymore. I stopped playing it months ago. I just watch it because I like your commentary. And I really appreciate that because that's the kind of person I am. I sub to people based on who they are as a human being and how their commentary is. Do they have attention to detail and, and standards? Are they looking to provide a variety, you know? Or do they have an interesting blog or vlog or whatever? And, you know, I mean, that's what I look for in a YouTuber. In, in, um, and I appreciate those of you that look at me in the same light, so. And there is a plane and a bunch of vehicles here. But from what I remember of this map, they may not have fuel, or they'll be broken, missing a wheel or something. So I'm going to see what I can do. This guy's on me, obviously. This guy probably will be. Head towards the plane. So this isn't necessarily like a goodbye DayZ video, so don't take it as that. It's just right now, I'm just thinking about it. I'm thinking... You know, what could I possibly do with this? There's just, you know, so it's it's that type of thing. And again, if, if I do release content for this, I would expect it just to be a little bit more random and not on a set schedule. Wow, there's way too many of them. I'm going to check out this plane. Let's see if we can hop into the seat. I would bet any amount of money that there's no fuel in it. Yep, no fuel. <laughs> Waving the tail there. Well, they can't get me in here though. I'm just this is gonna be my new house, except for the fact that I'll probably just get shot in the face by somebody. To back seat. That's not a back seat. That's just the co-pilot seat. Or wait, I can't even tell where I'm. I'm trying to look at myself in there, but I can barely see it. Uh, is there anything in here? No. Get out! Run away! ATV is... Oh, I don't have time for this. Tractor. Which, funny enough as it is, we were talking about Farm Simulator on the TGS podcast, and here I am in a tractor of some sort. And no fuel in here either. This would be fun to ride around in. Run away. Perhaps check out some of these buildings. Um, you know, there's also questions about the War Z, and, and most of you know that I, I don't like that game right now, and I hate it, mostly because, same thing, it, it's, it's almost worse in terms of uh, it being a shooter or, or free-for-all deathmatch with zombies sprinkled in. I mean, that's all it is, and for some reason the community is a lot worse. It's almost like the 360 no-scope cod kitty community has entered that game and no offense to people that like call of duty none whatsoever there are many good people that like that game elbrook loves that you know, that franchise to a certain degree he does and uh you know they they have had good games in the past it's just that right now 
Uh, let's face it, they don't exactly have a great reputation in terms of community. And, and that's even what's happening to Battlefield. Bugger. Mm. Off. So, you know, a lot of the gaming communities out there have just gotten really, really bad. Immature, just... I don't know, it's terrible. Is this the same... AK-74, so yeah. That is that. It's over there. Uh, some stuff. I'm just gonna bypass. For now. Eh, whatever. Glitchy, glitchy zombies. Could use some, uh... Do I have drink? Yeah, I do. I think I don't have food, though. Need to find an animal to kill and then create a fire. There's a bus over there. Let's go see if it has a wheel. Maybe it's the remnants of the one I destroyed. I don't know. Five by five, six takes two shots on a non-headshot. 7.62 doesn't. It's like one shot, I think. And that's the downside because, you know, uh, the War Z community, when I was playing it, I played it a few times. Every single time I died, I died to a player. I never died to a zombie. It was terrible. It was absolutely terrible. Every single time. Every video I watched was nothing but deathmatch. People camping outside buildings and blowing people away. And it's like, this is stupid. I would show it to several different friends and I always got the same opinion. Like, what is this? This isn't, this isn't a zombie survival game. This is... It's not even a survival game. It's like, oh, loot and deathmatch and... Ugh. Anyways, I've, I've spoken enough about that. I've given that opinion so many times and it's just I don't like that I don't enjoy it if they fix it and improve it fine I'll go look at it and the same goes for Elbrook because there is potential there but currently I should probably actually get the meat take raw meat okay uh, there is potential there and I would give it a, a shot if you know if they were to actually you know do something about the problems it has I mean right now it's just boring it's dull it's another map that's even smaller and just not worth it I mean the quality and the standards are not there it was a money grab as I've said numerous times I'm gonna go make a fire and eat some of this food uh, the developers are liars and and use cheats on their own game. They said it took them two years. They said this was two years in development, a year to two years. And no, it wasn't. They've already spilled the beans on that. No pun intended. So, yeah, it's just... I don't really have respect for them, and it's hard to want to wish their game well, but as a gamer, I, I do like having a variety of titles to play. And there are other games out there that are going to try to get in on the zombie survival horror stuff, but... They're mostly like, oh, look at our fancy concept art. Ugh. Show me gameplay or go home. I don't care about your concept art because that's only going to take you so far. I want to see real in-game screenshots with the characters, the UI. I want to see videos, simple videos. It doesn't take that long to make a video. I do it all the time. <laughs> want me to make a video for you? I'll do it. So anyway, um, oh, I need some lumber, though. Let's see. If they consider this a forest. You must be in a forest. So there's, they're not considering this a forest, which is another stupid thing in this game. I don't know. There, there really isn't a very thick forest in this game. Wait, or in this map is what I meant. Sorry. Uh, maybe over there. There's a lot of trees over there. Let's try that. And a lighthouse. So we'll go explore. So yeah, I mean, all around, just kind of general disappointment with some of these supposedly, you know, survival horror games. And then, it's just, you know, it's going to take time, guys. It, this is the beginning of this genre. This is the very start of it. Years down the line, there will probably be saturated and we'll have a lot to choose from. And perhaps we'll just look back and laugh or cry, one or the other. <laughs> 
But, uh, you know, who knows? It's just, it is what it is. And, uh, you know, again, I would just rather use my time to provide, you know, another title with commentary. Um, but again, I really do value everyone's feedback. I'll read the comments and go through what people think. You know, is this a problem for you? You must be in a forest and close to a tree. Well... Hmm. This might be a known issue with this map. I mean, if they're not going to consider this something that I can harvest, then this is just stupid. I don't know. I'm just... I'm figuring that since I'm not going to hang out on this map very long, that I'm going to use my ammunition. And take out these zombies. Didn't mean to double tap there. Up we go. Let's see if we can find anything. But again, I don't want you to see this video as a rant or anything like that. It's just, it's just you know, some common facts that, uh, you know, this is me, human being, just not enjoying my gameplay. And I'm not the kind of person that wants to, to lie about it and pretend that I enjoy it just to get views and subs and things like that. So uh, I have to enjoy what I do because you guys aren't stupid you know that if somebody you can tell if somebody's not enjoying something if there's too much frustration you know coming out of me then then you're gonna know it and that doesn't make for entertaining content so let's try to maybe chop down something over here is this a forest I know it's not really like it's a tree I don't know why I can't chop down any tree nope so it doesn't look like I'm gonna be cooking any meat maybe I mean maybe Maybe, like, this is a forest to them. I mean, this is pretty... I don't know, by Arma standards. Probably got to be more over here, if it even works. Who knows? It could be just something with this map that doesn't want to work. This is version 1.2 of this map, so... In regards to Daisy, But, nothing, so... Is that guy who's annoying who I could probably barely hit. But um, you know, anyways, I think we'll probably bring it to a close around here. I do need to actually drink some Coca-Cola. And again, I'll look through the comments, see if you guys have suggestions. In regards to how to make this more entertaining without me having to play with a bunch of people. Because, like I said, guys, it just kind of comes down to scheduling and ease of doing collaboration. And, and it's not always simple, especially with this game. So that's not really going to be a good suggestion. But if you have any other ideas of how to perhaps make this somehow more entertaining, something that you would want to watch, then, you know, feel free to let me know and I'll take a look. But... Uh, again, otherwise, I just am not having a good time. And, um, even, it's even worse when you're solo. Like, when Elbrook's around, it's not that bad. Once we finally meet up, I should say, it's, it's, it's pretty fun. And that's why I've been continuing to play. But I realized today that I was like, wow, what am I going to talk about? What am I going to do? And when I was thinking about that, I was like, you know, should I be doing this still? So, you know, there is that. But I think... That about covers what I wanted to talk about in regards to perhaps slowing down the, the, the DayZ content. So, thank you so much for joining me, and we'll, of course, see you on the next one. Perhaps. Maybe.